Michelle, thank you for taking time for us. We really appreciate it. Sure. My name's Michelle. I'm the Innovation Director here at MNR. Matt's printing on the hybrid right now using Matsui and it's discharged. He's fully discharging it before he puts the spray on top. Generally, we would do that uh, in line, like on a striker, so we could flash it more than once, get the full discharge effect. Um, sending it down the dryer sometimes can dull the colors a little bit, but the digital squeegee loves discharge. You can also print on uh, under base white, uh, digital clears, you can put special effects underneath, over top, you can integrate variable data and print different images on every single print. So I'm going to show you some examples of development that we've done on the hybrid and then you can see it spray. And it's kind of cool because you can look at it and see it actually spray on the surface. This was the very first print uh, that I did on the hybrid two years ago. This print has uh, grays and highlight whites underneath, so all the value is underneath. The color on top is pure color, so there's no uh, black of the CMYK being printed, and it gave really vibrant results. These are all water-based acrylics being used, uh, discharged or acrylics, for the underneath and the top coat of clear as well. Um, this is um, the Outer Banks Lighthouses. So this shirt had uh, four different lighthouses, eight different shirt colors, and the data would change. So the under base was constant, but it showed variable data. And then there was a glow in the dark on the surface. The data underneath was changing, so it looked like the glow in the dark was changing with it, but it wasn't. So anybody has caught that, that there's four different lighthouses, and they could do the same screens, and every single digital print on top could actually change what that image looked like one by one without slowing down the press. I would show you, but they've all disappeared. <laughs> this is a uh, suede with gel, so if you touch this one, it has a texture to it. It also has a QR code that was printed uh, with the digital squeegee. If you scan it, it'll take you to a video of this shirt being printed. This is the $100 bill. Um, I scanned the $100 bill. My computer said I was counterfeiting and kicked me out. If you want to scan a $100 bill, it's Photoshop 4. Uh, <laughs> after we printed it, we took photographs to send it to a magazine article, and the computer said I was counterfeiting and kicked me out again of the t-shirt. So if you look under a loop, you can see all the security detailing that's on $100. It has color changing reflective on the surface. So if you take a flash photograph, you'll see security detailing in here. And when Cody's dad retired from Anvil in 2017, uh, we took this and we took off Benjamin Franklin's face and we put on Anthony Corsano's face. We took off the Liberty Bell, we put on the Anvil. We changed all the things in the stuff that Anthony would say and we gave him a completely customized $100 bill for his retirement and printed it at the same time. This shirt is printed on top of foil. So this is an inline foil using the MNR HQ1, and then it has a clear tie coat layer. The digital is sprayed into the surface of the clear layer, and then it has a top coat. So this has a foil underneath. Uh, one is holographic pink and one is gold. If you scan that, it'll show you a hot head video. The hair is a discharge screen, two different screens. Uh, this one has a gold metallic effect. This one has a diamond glass effect, two different screens. The face, the flower, and the neck piece are shared under base, and then the digital was on the surface of those. There was about 50 different data points in the set of data, so there was 10 flowers, 10 faces, etc. The computer created all the variations. It's 7,000 individual prints at 400 an hour. So Matt's gonna spray the digital onto the surface and you'll be able to see. So the discharge is fully discharged underneath and then you spray digital and then you have the top coat. It's cool if you get a chance to look inside while it's printing. So a hybrid system, you're not jumping fully into direct environment. Um, you're working with the press and digital technology at the same time. It's the best of both worlds. You're treating everything like you would a traditional screen print, but we're really just printing one or two like bases. In this case, a uh, discharge base. And then your full color, full resolution is going over on top. Well, if you're going to go by your largest size, which is 15 by 20, 
you're going to run around 38, 40 cents a piece. That is with digital inks and your uh, press inks as well. With your press inks, you're really only using a white base. Yeah. So you're not going across the gamut buying more colors. You're just getting bulk of one. You don't have a guy that's going to be in the back mixing, yeah, spending good, time. Yeah. It took me, you know, a half hour to mix a bunch of colors yesterday. That's yeah. that's a lot of time lot in of printing. Time. Um, so here we're, we're putting it in and we're printing it. Your average setup times here is going to be anywhere from, I would say, 7 to 10 minutes. You're doing anywhere from 3 to 4 screens. You're using your tri-sync system. So you're taking your screens, you're lining them all up, and then you're ready to go for the most part. I use a top coat on a lot of my product. Not every not every ink manufacturer needs one, but I do a clear coat, sealer. It gives you superior wash factor. So at, yep. at the end of the day, do you have to take do anything special so they don't that doesn't dry out? I'm just capping my machine, which is basically uh, just a programming uh, function. So your system is different than EPG. No, I'm printing white on press. So I'm treating it like any screen printer would. Um, basically, my CMYK is dirty water. There's no materials in there. So it's flowing through my heads. So I'm really not going to get, I'm not going to dry out, I'm not going to get a head fog. On top of that, I have no pre-treat. A lot of times in DTG, if you get a head strike, that yeah. pre-treat is meant to catalyze your ink. So, so it's it does the same thing to the head. freezing up your heads and clogging your heads. So we don't have that issue at all. So really, it's we call it a hybrid system because it is in between the worlds. So when you come down to pieces on DTG, is amazing technology, and I think it's I love it. So when you're doing one, two pieces here or there, you're going to do like five, ten pieces here or there. You're going to do DTG. It makes sense. When you get into say 30, 40, 50 pieces, um, and you want to print large amounts fast, you're going to use a hybrid system.